All right, today we'll be tying this kind of bait fish fly. It's really good for baby tarpon or snook. Uh, this looks like some kind of little bait fish, you know, finger mullet, little shiner maybe, just whatever they like to eat. So let's go for it. So I like to tie this on, I don't know, either a B10S stinger or a um, SC15. Kind of like the SC15s more. <coughs> it's a shorter shank and it just kind of works better. Uh, whatever hook you like though. This is a size 1 SC15. So, grab the thread. You got brown thread by the way. Uh, I'll throw that right on the hook. Cut it off. So we'll start with some tan arctic foxtail hair. It's very important you use the tail and not just the normal arctic fox. The tail just works a little bit better, a little longer. So we'll start with a clump of that. I don't like to use a ton, but I like to use a pretty good amount. Um, it's about as much as I use right there, you can kind of see that. So I'll cut that off. Strip out some of that under fur. Also, before I tie it in, I like to pull out these some of these really long hairs, these long black ones. I like a few of those in there, just not super long. So that looks about good. And for the tail, I like it to be just a little longer in the shank of the hook. Maybe about a hook and a half, a hook and a quarter, something like that. So take this in. When you tie it in, you can tie it where you see where your thread hangs down right there, just a little in front of that. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch, nothing too crazy, but just a little in front of that. And tie it in. We'll get rid of that. All right, now to keep this from fouling up, I like to take a little bit of hard mason. Um, this is just 12 pound hard mason. It doesn't really matter what you use. I just have this 12 here and it works. Take a little piece of that. We'll tie it in on the side in that same tie-in spot that you tied the fox in. Tie that in, but it's very important to get it on the side of the shank. You don't want it underneath the shank at all. If anything, you want it just a little, little bit on top. And so we'll leave that loop about, about that big. And I'll tie this in. Remember on the sh on the side of the shank, not on top, or not on the bottom. I mean, a little bit on top is okay, but you don't want the bottom at all. Cut the rest of that. Maybe. I'll cut my fingers first with these razor scissors. Whatever. Alright, so now once I get that in, I need to kind of push it up just a little bit and mess with it. There you go, and that fox will just sit right in that little loop. And then since I tied on mono, I like to use a little bit of super glue. This is just brush on zap a gap and it just kind of seals up the thread around that mono. Do a couple wraps over that. So next we'll take a little bit of the brush left. This is Enrico Puglisi's Senyo's Chromatic Brush. Um, it's basically foxy brush with a little bit of laser dub in it. I like this a lot. And this is the one and a half inch. And so I'll take a little bit of this. Throw it in kind of right in the middle of the shank. A little bit farther back maybe. Tie that in. And we'll give it a few wraps. Make sure when you're wrapping this stuff that you're not trapping any fiber. So you want to wrap just in front of your previous wrap. You always want to keep 
brushing the fibers back so you're not trapping them. I like to use a brush after every few wraps just to get any of those fibers out that you were trapping. So I like to do about, I don't know, five, four or five wraps maybe. With this, you don't want to get too crazy with it because it can get pretty thick. So I'm out, that was about five wraps. So then we'll wrap over that. And pull on it just to make sure it's all tight. A couple wraps behind it. Come bring it back. A couple wraps in front of it. Not on top of the wire, but in front of it. Once you get that, let's grab it real close and then bend it, wiggle it around. And then it eventually breaks, just like that. So I like doing that with brushes instead of cutting them. So if you cut them, you dull your scissors. And also, your uh, makes a really sharp wire coming out of there. So I don't like that. You can break your thread. You'll realize that if you haven't done it yet, you'll do it. It's not fun. You break it off, no sharp end on there. Good to go. No dull scissors either. So for the last step of this fly, we'll move our thread up just a little bit. And we will take some dark tan Senyo's laser dub. I like a decent amount of this. Not a ton, but a decent amount. Just about that. It's not a ton, but it's, it's good enough. So when I'm getting this ready to tie on, I like to grab it like this, right in the middle, and pull it apart, and then sack it on itself. Do the same thing again. I do that five or six times. It's got lines of fibers up together. So you're not tying a cotton ball in on a fly. Just seems to work out a little better for me. So once you get that, it'll look something like this. And we'll take this and spread it out just a little bit like that. And then put it directly over the top of the hook, kind of right in the middle, um, like right in the middle of the clump. Put that in. And then you want to kind of work it with your fingers down the sides of the hook. You're trying to evenly disperse this material around the shank, even on the bottom. So that looks pretty good. Keep working it down. So once you do that, you can do a couple, say a couple like exactly two loose wraps around like that. And then give a couple tight ones. Just a couple, you don't want to go crazy with the thread wraps yet. And after you do that, just kind of make sure it's dispersed evenly. This is really important covers up the shank really well, covers up the thread wraps of the rest of the fly, really blends it together well. And you're going to lose a little bit of that laser dub, but it's not a big deal. So that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take the front piece and do the same thing. So we're going to spread the fibers back a little bit, and you're going to evenly kind of fan them out. And then this is the same thing, you're trying to get it to disperse evenly around the whole hook. So that's nice right there. So we'll get that back. And then when you're wrapping your thread in front, you don't want to go over the over the fibers at all. Like you don't want to do that. You want to keep it right in front just like that. So that'll give it a little bit of body. There we go. We'll whip finish. We'll cut the thread off. We are almost done. So once again with the brush, I like to go over it just a few times. Just kind of blends everything together at the end. It's a good profile going. Now we'll throw some eyes on here. These are, I don't remember what size they are, it's about a, somewhere about a four, four millimeter I think, five millimeter maybe, I don't remember. But they're good, they're good sized. So, I have a bodkin, there it is. So take one of the eyes. Throw it on the bodkin. Throw some 
I just used brush on Zappa Gap for this. It works really well. At least on the laser dove, it works really well. A little bit on the back of the eye. Flatten that fiber out just a little bit. Stick it on. Press it down, make sure it's set. Flip it over, do the same thing. Now as I kind of showed you there, I like to spread the fiber out just a little bit before I put the eye on. So that when I do stick the eye on, it gives it a little more kind of profile. So I'll separate that out just a little with my finger. Stick the eye on. Make sure it's set from above like that. And then I'll look at the front. And then make sure they're aligned real nice. And they are. And press it down. As you're pressing it down, it's a good idea. Just keep watching, make sure they're lined up. So once we get those eyes on there, I like to take a lighter, keep everything out of the way and back, and just singe a few of those fibers on the front. Take some Loon Clear Thin Fly Finish. Stick it on there just a little bit, just kind of seal up those thread wraps. A little tiny coat. Flow works really well for that too. I just have thin right now, so I'll use it. And let's take UV light or a laser. Cure it. And you are all set to go catch some baby tarpon.